The Colorado Trail is one of North America's premier long trails. It attracts hikers from all over the globe who seek to complete the 486 mile journey. I've been drawn to the trail for several reasons. I've had a good, stable job for the last six years. But my life is changing. I've decided to leave my job and start my own company. What's more, in a few weeks, I'll be getting married. With all the big shifts in life happening all at once, I thought, what better place than to return to my homeland of Colorado and hike this fabled trail? The full hike takes most people around five weeks to complete. While I'm not hiking the full trail, I'm going for what I like to call a solo. An opportunity to be with one's own thoughts. My goal is to hike 75 miles northbound, opposite of most hikers from Durango to Molas Pass. I had some nerves last night and honestly today uh, about doing this. I haven't done a solo trip in a long time. Just like getting out deep into the woods by myself. But I'm looking forward to it. A little solo time does good for the soul. Started my journey up, left the river, and that nice pleasant canyon bottom. And now, the real ass kicking starts. Maybe 18 more miles. But that'd be pretty aggressive and ambitious with all the weight that I'm carrying, starting out, acclimatizing, climbing so much. I'll be happy to get like 14. Starting to get kind of cloudy, pretty overcast. I think we're gonna be in store for some monsoons here shortly. Hearing some thunder rumble lightly. Getting higher, closing in on 9,000 feet. That was wild. Got crushed with a rainstorm that brought a lot of hail. The whole trail turned into a river. Pretty wild. Put on my rain gear, but it's so hot still that I was probably not even really the right call because I'm just sweating under it. Starting to get some nice light behind me. Gonna have to dig out a lens cloth. Made it about 10 miles. Gonna try to hike another four or five. I'll probably look for a camp for tonight.
wasn't necessarily happy for this chair on the hike. Really damn happy for this chair right now. this pass and uh, big thunderstorm is approaching kind of scary don't like being up on these high points kind of have to just keep moving yesterday's storm was a crusher today's probably gonna be the same looking ominous Thunder's rolling in already. Kind of scared of what's coming. I'm uh, feeling a little anxiety right now. Those clouds are dark. And I'm getting pretty, pretty up there. Whew. Doing pretty good over there.
some really big lightning bolts right behind me. Counting them out, they're like a couple miles away, but it's all dangerous up here. I'm trying to get up and over this pass as fast as I can. Very hard work. I just came over the pass and uh, honestly this has been pretty exhilarating but uh, nerve-wracking. The storm looks to be going just off to the east of me but these lightning bolts are flash banging all over the place. So I'm gonna get down as fast as I can and uh, I might set up a shelter just in case I get walloped but I'm gonna wait it out and see. I'll have, I have a better view of what's coming next and it looks a little bit better this way. So. We'll see, but that stuff's scary and no joke. Oh man, made it up another pass. So, <laughs> that, whoa, that one, you can hardly see it. That's the one I came up with the crazy storm. Hiked down into this valley, now came up over the next pass. And oh baby, these mountains are looking so good. I'm pretty worked. I'm trying to get four more miles. We'll see. Gonna be hiking on a ridge line. And uh, yeah, it looks like the worst of the storm has passed, so should be okay timing. Just stumbled upon maybe the best display of wildflowers I've ever seen. This is spectacular. I'm over like 12,000 feet up here, and it is just insanely colorful. These reddish violet ones are almost glowing to the naked eye. It's incredible. I'm not making enough progress because I'm just in awe of what I'm seeing out here. This is amazing. Whew, gorgeous. Look at this. So good. I don't have enough eyeballs, cameras, just take this all in. Pretty spectacular out here on the Colorado Trail.
So I'm doing some dry camping tonight. I'm about two miles away from the nearest spring or water source. I do have enough water with me if I go sparingly. I wanted to get all the way to that water source, but I mostly really wanted to be somewhere cool. And uh, when I stumbled upon this spot, even though it is on this ridge, it has a depression and there's a bunch of trees around me here. So if a storm does blow through, I feel better about it. It's not as prone to lightning. Pretty cool watching the clouds billow and build over the mountains over there. And the storm just kind of keeps lingering very lightly. Just sprinkling with rain right now, but making some dinner. And then I'm going to call it a night because I am worked. got 14 miles of hiking without any water. Well, I have water, but 14 miles in between places where you can get water. It's a pretty hot, dry stretch here. Lots of sun exposure. Just trying to plug away and get some miles in. So, just trying to keep moving. Beautiful. Hooey. Hiking into that.
So today I've hiked about 13 miles, I believe, and I'm trying to get about four more. And this has this stretch has a big blank spot with just no water. So I've been kind of having my head down, haven't filmed a ton, just trying to plug through it and get some miles in. Starting to feel a little weary. It's that kind of middle of the journey type lull. But plugging away and enjoying everything. Starting to see signs of water. Got this little seepy moss stuff. But about a half mile further, there's the Roaring Creek. Relief is in sight. It was a hard day. I think I hiked 18 miles. Carried a lot of water to make it across those 14. It was good though. I think I'm right around 45 miles for the three days, which was basically my goal, 15 a day. And doing this in five days means 15 every day. So I'm on track. I am finding it difficult to film and do everything and get as far as I need all, all at once, all by myself out here, but it's gorgeous. Mostly skirted the monsoons, but I don't want to jinx it because there is some stuff going on overhead right now. I feel like in maybe like two more days, I'm gonna get those like iron hiking legs that the through hikers get, but I'm not there. I've got more like jelly legs right now.
Storm moved through last night. It was pretty strong. Lots of lightning and thunder. <clears throat> Very close. Not right overhead, but pretty close. And uh, got a good douse of rain. The rain actually persisted for a lot of the night. So everything's pretty wet. Trying to get an early start. Get a jump on it and get up. There's the pass right ahead, like a mile and a half. Got to climb a thousand feet. So today and tomorrow should be really nice. Early morning here. Just camped down here in these trees, which was nice because of the storm last night. It was really so much more comforting having all the protection of the trees, not being at risk of lightning strike or very low risk. It's kind of a gray morning, but I gotta go up over this pass behind me. Starting the day with a good thigh burner. out here. up over the pass talked to a few hikers who came down here and uh, I guess last night's lightning storm was pretty terrifying because it was this was the epicenter of the storm that I was hearing and there's not much coverage pretty breezy up here but my goodness so cool looking at all these mountains just revealing a whole new onslaught that lies ahead Really beautiful morning, lots to enjoy. Rain's coming in, it actually kind of feels nice. It's been hot. There are some nice views, some starting to emerge here. Trying to get up over this pass. I think I'm at mile 55 out of 75. So I 
think I'm on track to hit my goals, but I'm feeling it. So I just came out of this pretty good long stretch of forest to uh, a truly spectacular site. These mountains that are all up here, they're so colorful, there's so much water. There's a lot of sheer verticality on the cliffs. It is the most dramatic of the mountains that I've seen so far. And I think for today, the rest of today and tomorrow, that's what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be some really dramatic, gorgeous mountains. This is the stretch that I've been so excited about. The shoes have been good. I've been happy with them. For all the mileage I've done, I've got that blister. That's not bad. Just feels good to let my feet air out. I am beyond stoked on this campsite. Uh, I really debated camping down there uh, in that valley and was really nervous about leaving because it was a good spot, but finding this spot, this is 10 times better. One of the biggest challenges actually has just been keeping everything dry. I've gotten so much rain and I'll keep having to pack everything up while it's still really wet. And so then it just sits in my backpack, damp. So, laid the sleeping bag out on some rocks. Feels pretty good right now. The tent hasn't really dried out yet and there's some other stuff of mine that's still kind of damp.
amazing spot coming up from this campsite and then there's so much like super red mountains here especially with the light on you can really see when it's overcast you can't see it as much so it's fascinating to see it pop with that color of the sun Something that's really fun about doing hikes like this is you keep coming up and over these passes and every time there's this moment of anticipation as you're coming up over the pass to see what the reveal is. And it's really satisfying to just see a whole new landscape, the kind of next era of your hiking journey. So just dropped into this one, came up over this one that I've been in awe of for the last day and a half and uh, yeah now we get to experience a new part of these mountains so much of this hike down from the pass is just full of these wildflowers they're iridescent and beautiful and today's just such a lovely day. We've got big 
puffy, nice looking clouds, but they don't look too intimidating. I'm drinking it in. This is glorious. To my final pass this little shoulder here this has been amazing exhausting um, but truly I've, I've loved it it's been so rewarding to, to be out here and just to be spending time solo it's good for the soul I remember starting the trip with a little bit of anxiety and you know there were fears I was nearly caught on top of a mountain pass in a lightning storm there was Definitely some scary stuff, uh, but at the same time, like that's what makes it so rewarding. So, I'm loving it. All right, time to cash in these last couple miles and finish it. Thanks for watching.